Welcome back guys. Uh, we have a, what year is this thing, Jeepster? 13 Nissan Pathfinder. Hey, I didn't even know it. I guessed it. 13 Pathfinder. The customer said that they replaced headlight bulbs and they said that the bulbs were had different clarity on each side after he was done. So Rachel's like, all right, well, let's do a diagnostic and see what's going on here and make sure that we're all on the same page. So let me show you. So these bulbs on Jeez. both sides. That's a job in itself. Holy shit. This, is, this was a pain in the butt. Yeah. This side here wasn't working. It looks like someone scratched the inside to see how bad the inside lenses were. <laughs> you can see it's not changing on the outside, but that's on the inside. So somebody or the customer went in here and said, oh, the inside lenses are dirty. The outside are dirty. It's a 160,000 mile pathfinder. So no matter what light bulbs you stick in here, you're not going to restore 100% clarity. Um, and then what what a job this was to get this apart, to be honest with you. But you're never going to get this clarity, even if you restore them. There's nothing like new. And then somebody went and put LEDs in the fog lights trying to enhance their night driving. That doesn't work. So after Rachel talked to the customer and said, hey. He said he didn't, but then he said just change them whenever you say. Whatever, we, whenever I say to fix the car. Well, that's very nice. He has some other issues he said he'll circle back to, but we're going to restore their their candle power, it's called, Rachel. They call that candle power uh, to the headlights. Uh, and then I'm going to dig into why the one fog light bulb is brighter on one side than the other. But I told him LEDs are garbage. I haven't had one successful LED bulb at all. Back to well, here, give them back because they're junk. He can try and light up his bathroom with those. <laughs> um, so we have the new headlight assemblies. It comes with all new bulbs in here. Um, and so this one is just as bad as this one. You're just never going to get the clarity out of this crap here, especially when the inside lens is disgusting. I don't care if you put them in a dishwasher, use vinegar and water, you know, that old day squish wash stuff. Not going to happen. So, only way to get the proper candle power out of your headlight assemblies is to replace them. And then, the bulbs that were originally in here were perfectly fine when the car was built. And the OEM or aftermarket bulbs of the same design will work perfectly fine. So, uh, I just got this side apart. Um, I'm going to get this headlight assembly uh, back on the car. It actually came with this piece here. So, I don't know if you can see any of this. But, uh... Look at all the bulbs in here. One, two, three, four, five. Five different bulbs in one headlight. Just, just kind of ridiculous. And for the average customer to try and go in here and replace that, it's just impossible. Look what I have to do to take, to take the car apart to do this. Five, five bulbs and one headlight assembly. So hopefully they're not out of adjustment. Uh, from the rip. Sometimes they are they're really not improper adjustment when they're finished. Then I gotta circle back and try and figure out if I can even get them to go back in proper adjustment. Let's get all these older bolts out. These connectors. That's what's nice about some crash parts is that they usually come with everything. Usually. And I'll save some of these sockets in case I need a socket, but I will tell you I have boxes of sockets for cars that we don't even see anymore. So I, I apologize that I'm not speaking to the camera, but these sockets here.
it. I'm not going to hold them to it. I know. But yeah, my dad said let's order it um, because I don't know what else to do. And she said it was just weird because all of a sudden the reason I got it towed was because all of a sudden there was no acceleration, zero acceleration. Like it didn't even want to. Ask our YouTube audience. Rachel doesn't believe that this I, is not going to be any better than it's that. It's cleaner, but the bulb still looks like mercury. You're out of your. Now, this is what it's like working with a woman. You should meet her boyfriend, Dustin. <laughs> he would tell you that that wasn't a brand new headlight assembly. <laughs> now, look at the clarity, right? Let me get down here. Clarity and clean. Not clarity and clean. Are you supposed to be wearing glasses? I'm, I'm not saying it's not clarity and clean, but I'm saying like, why is that bolt so freaking tiny? And like, that's barely like what? Some guys come with tiny ones. And some guys it, come with big three ones. Three little lights supposed to turn on, or no? That's just no, a cover. No, it's just a cover. That's lame. <coughs> I mean, it's this Don't way. Don't tell me that that's not right. That should be turn signal. Oh God. Rachel is the quality control officer. Working? Yeah. Everything's working? Uh, do you have a turn signal on? Because I don't see that amber bolt lighting on. Uh, the key might have to be on for that. Oh. Yeah. The, the quality control officer says that what I'm replacing is good enough. Yeah, right. Look how bright it is outside. And ra nobody smokes here. Someone said something about we smoke here. Nobody smokes here. Thanks for watching. <laughs>